Spark Shimmer or Dumas Lines, it's me, Spark on the Thunder. Come on, video in this video. I am turning two SAO characters into demonic hunters for sins, and then I'm making the demons that they are the hosts for. The two I used were, um, what's his name? Eugeo, um, Eugeo? I can't pronounce the guy's name. He was the blue, he was the one with the. Sorry, just remembered. UG, the one with the ice sword. And, um, Andrew Mills, also known as a girl from Sword Art Online. So, without further ado, let's roll intro, and let's get into this video, and let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Sorry it's been so long everyone. It's just been hard to find more demons recently. Because there's been a weird thing that's going on. Like a um, discrepancy in the universe or something. It's just like there's been a giant more powerful demon around. Now, the demon I came across was something... That looked, didn't really look like a demon. It more or less more really resembled a human with insect, um, insectoid like body parts, with like bug with like fly eyes and a tongue with that of like butterfly. And that's just one. I've also just saw a few others varying body types around the um, globe. Only you know, five in total. Anyways, it's like they've been... Well, anyways. It's like they've been searching for something. Or searching for someone. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, let's get to the... Um, survivors I want to talk about today. I'm going over two survivors and... Two richly interesting... Um, demons. Because today I'm actually using a different format. I'm talking about the demons, demonic countries, and the demons that are the the hosts they are for. Well, first one title is well, demonic country. Name is is E U G O. Demon, prideful ice blade demon. You gonna you. Eugonix. He, well, this guy was originally just your average hunter. Just a um, guy who went around defeating demons left, right, and center. And, but he spared very few that he knew because he always gathered intel about them. Matter of fact, he saw that this one demon was prideful, yes, but it more or less helped people although it's pride could get someone could get someone injured but it wasn't really all that often someone got injured well it was, they were being protected by the demon the demon this <clears throat> so that this guy also had some sense of pride in it in himself but he was more a very line with him so just like with um with Kazuto Kirigaya and um, Kiritrox, they made a deal to the point that Eugeo was became the host of the said demon. He got the wings and he skin shifted red, but he has a band covering his eyes. His eyes have shifted into that more of a green turquoise blue well more of a turquoise green and has he has icy blue wing he has dark icy blue wings and one arm is that of the demons a very powerful arm might I add let's get to the next one the next one is another one as this guy looks like if you replace his arm with a with that of a machine, but in reality, it isn't all what it seems. Um, a very good friend of 
cut cut the toe. Hey, this guy is actually around closer to 24-ish. Name. Well, Andrew Mills. Title is Demonic Hunter. Demon is the wrath, Wrathful <clears throat> Battle Axe Demon. Alcatrix. Alcatrix. I'll go more in depth for him in a minute. But for Andrew, or better known as Agil, it was actually a um, nickname he has people call him since he is a host for a demon of that name. So he thinks it's a lot easier, but he prefers to sometimes be called um, by his close friends, Mills. So that way, no one really under. But he, well, anyways, he's he's of African American descent, and really, he looks like your average worker with a gray jacket and a green shirt. He, before all these demons came about, he was your standard, um, worker in any bar. He was a bouncer and also a bartender. He had, works double shifts. He worked double shifts, um, uh, but he encountered his first demon that was taking over a patron. Said patron was a former demon hunter. This demon hunter was telling stories of demons he's killed, but most people just brushed him off and didn't really listen to him. But Mills really, more or less, actually took to funny, took interest in the guy's stories, and whenever he told a particularly good one, he gave him a, um, a special drink that he cooked up himself on the house. So the guy and him became pretty good friends. The guy was drinking so that way he could forget all the horrors he had seen from demons killing people. He specialized in taking out phobia demons. Said Hunter is, well, now deceased. He gave Mills a um, dagger that was said to be able to kill demons relatively easily. He kept the dagger at the um, place of his work. He uses it to intimidate um bar um drunkards, <clears throat> but he soon had to actually use it to kill a demon, because one day the guy came in sweating and looking around. Mills asked what was going on, and he said, "A, f a demon from my past is coming for me." He said, "Me a therapist or something?" He said, "No, an actual demon." Right as he said that, an axe, not really an axe, more of a razor-sharp claw appeared in him. And, well, he, the he was sliced in half. He, Mills saw the two halves of him fall to the ground. And in his right she grabbed the dagger and slashed it right into the thing's head, killing the demon instantly. And ever since then, he's known to target demons that have killed his old friend. Now, he's on a mission. Now, well, he was on a mission. That's how he encountered the Wrathful Blade demon. He saw that this demon was protecting someone. And they both had to team up. But the Wrathful Axe, Battle Axe demon, was quite heavily injured. Just about died before... Mills agreed to be his host for a while. And his eyes have actually shifted into that of a darker gray. And he has three horns. The guy was actually bald beforehand. Now, let's get to the next one. The first one is... A, um... I usually talked about, um... Brickler demons. You know, something like a, um... Phobia demon... Or like a Pyrotrix. Or like the um, one holiday demon. Um, Axmosin. Really dangerous one. These two are something referred to as sin demons. From what I've been able to tell so far, there's three main types. Phobia. Holiday. And then there's sin. One of the, more, the most common type. But there's also 
some demons like elemental demons and they can be classified and put into the category of sin demons but they are known to be now they don't really aren't they don't really have any properties of actual sin demons they are just very powerful they're more sociopathy than anything else it's very rare for a um one to be good and to be a um for someone even rarer for someone to be a host of one well name is you've got gone x the one from the beginning weapon slash element ice blade sin pride title prideful ice blade demon this demon is well one of a kind a good chunk of these demons are one of a kind Imps are quite common and real nasty ones, or have special names, like Blitzen. That guy was well, is more or less my partner. He not really partner in the um, in that sense, but more or less my partner while fighting. He's a good friend. He's actually gained a human body, from via some experiments. Especially from a friend, of, a new friend I've made. Anyways. Said. Eugonix. Like the name suggests. And Ice Blade. He has the ability to, well, control ice. But it's mostly heavily focused into his blade. He's able to stab the blade into the ground. And cause ice to, well, pretty much encase anyone. But also has the ability to steal the very life out of them. Not stealing their soul per se. But it's very close to it. More or less actually weakens the soul. To the point that he just got to hit someone in the face and they're dead. It is that powerful. He really more or less absorbs their pride. He is quite prideful himself. But he's known to protect people. It's quite ironic, a demon whose sense of pride is pretty high, but he's prideful in the fact that he's able to save people easily. But let's get to the last one today. The final one of today is the one is the um ho oh, the demon of the um last hunter I talked about. Name Algrix. Weapon slash element is a battle axe. Sin, wrath, hence the title, wrestle battle axe demon. <sighs> Although he doesn't have an element, he has the ability to charge an energy attack into the blade, increasing its um, hitting power and actual, you know, weight. But also its speed. He's a very fast demon, like all, but he's... Faster than your usual demon. Namely in the fact that he actually weighs less. He's also on the shorter side. He only stands around, I want to say, 7 feet tall. Whereas other demons stand around 8 to nearly 100 feet tall. Really freaking bad demons. Uh, like, um, what was that guy's name? The, um, Ometophobia demon. I think I had a 100 foot wingspan in total. So, yeah, really big thing. He is, well, how do you say, very, very strong. You know, superhumanly strong. But nothing really in that much danger. He is known, well, he was known before he nearly died and Andrew Mills became his host. He was known for his ferocity on the battlefield originally he was a demon general and he took orders from the um from azazel this world's sin of wrath and let's just say he didn't really kill anyone he more or less um was a guy who organized battle tactics he Focus his anger into taking out people, but never killing. It's quite weird. People told, other demons told him he needed to kill. But he said it wasn't 
it just wasn't him. Now he could seriously injure someone, but he had only usually killed demons that got on his nerves. He soon realized that he wasn't in for the demon, demon side. He was more of that of a um, on the human side. So he started teaming up with humans. He first surrendered to the humans. Found this quite humiliating, but he's quite hot-headed. But even when he's calm, he's still quite hot-headed. Hot-headed to the point he can be sound a little aggressive, even when he's saying thank you or telling a joke. It sounds more like that of a um threat. And he's also very fluent in a German accent, because the way he put it, that you can yell how to you, that you want a burger in a German accent. It sounds like the most offensive thing in the world. So it's quite funny. And yes, Andrew Mills now has a German accent. Sometimes when he's ticked. And he just finds it very hilarious. So do I. Well, that's all for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video because that's all the time I've got for today. Until next time, subscribe to join the Backwards Army or Demon Science. Goodbye and peace out, everyone.